Yeah. Yeah, after we left off last time, don't look at this, this is all new. This is all new and exciting. Oh, well, too late. So, <laughs> exactly. So this is the other end of the underground passage, right? Oh, so right, where we, we left off. Used to... Exactly. So <laughs> when... <laughs> So when we left off last time, um, we were on the other side of it, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't jump, and the collision boundaries were all fucked up, uh, so I had to do a little bit of digging, and exactly, so it wasn't anything to do with the PlayStation 2, <clears throat> it was actually to do with the, <clears throat> it was actually to do with the ice, no, the disc, and we were running it in NTSC, whereas something to do with the PlayStation 2 is perhaps PAL. So there's a little bit of an incompatibility there. Anyway, point that's, being is that's if you so come weird across, that, that yeah. would affect the game itself. I think it's got something to do with the refresh rate or something. I don't. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh god! Yeah. Oh god! Okay, concentrate, concentrate. Yeah. So anyway, point being is that I fixed it, and if we come across it again, we can take a little five minutes and be like, okay, fine, you know, it doesn't matter. We'll just use a, we'll just use a little workaround. So sure, fine. yeah. We're good. So as you can see, a little bit of a different environment this time. Ignore that nice line tracking across the screen. Um, it's all a bit foggy. It's all a bit yep. spooky. Oh, I haven't upgraded anything, actually. Are those so, actual fog fix, or is that pre-rendered? I think it's... Le oh, actually, everything's level 2 as well. Look at that. Nice, we'll nice. Push this up the long road to level 3. When do you think? Spear or sword? Actually, you're a spear boy, aren't you? Ooh, you like spear, spear. Definitely. Okay. So you see that? That's four and a half, which is about about a quarter so we should have about 12 bars of power per level three upgrade so yeah i think we got pre-rendered and then we've got volumetric fog effects over the top oh okay that makes sense but it's still very pretty oh guys coming in oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> i went straight through it oh, no. okay oh. Oh. So I was doing a little bit of research uh, about this game. So the guy who composed the, uh, not the theme tune, uh, because obviously the theme tune is done by the guy who did the, uh, the Kill Bill theme song, but mm -hmm. the actual soundtrack itself uh, wasn't done by Samaragotchi, who was the guy who, you know, wrote a lot of Resident Evil stuff, allegedly, right. when actually he's a huge... Oh, look! Ooh! Ooh, thingy. another... A MacGuffin! Another thing. <laughs> but, yeah, so... He allegedly wrote it, which he didn't, and he just ripped stuff off. But the composer for this, can't remember his name, is actually the same composer for a lot of Capcom stuff, like uh, like Third Strike. So, oh, really? He did Third Strike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So, I think after the you know, with the Third Strike stuff was when was Third Strike? Ninety eight. I'm gonna say ninety eight, ninety seven. Yeah. So it's a few years after that, and that was very kind of like hip hop. There's loads of different instrumentation. So with this. They gave him like a huge sound bank and they're just like, yeah, go for it. And that's why I think there's lots of recurring themes in this game. And I think that's kind of his kind of trade point. So right, let's look right. at the chest. This is locked using some kind of trick and I can't open it. Mm, mm, I need ominous. a trick to open the chest. I wonder why. You know, part of me how. kind of feels he should have kept with the hip hop thing with this one. I think that would have... Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, to be fair, there's a lot that's out of place. There's machine demons. There's like people with machine guns. There's all sorts of shit. So yeah, to be fair, let's yeah, let's do hip hop. I can do that. Yeah. Right, see who's on the oh. Just turn into Samurai. Oh, yeah, best boy. It's best boy. Although uh, his armor is not so good because he can't see his sweet cleavage. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, but we can go. Come on. Let's uh. Go. Super powered. Uh. Oh. Ignore the tracking lines. Ignore the tracking lines. <laughs> Look at him go! I can do it too, Mega. Look at me go! Look at me go! When did he get a a laser gun? <laughs> yeah, no, that was me. I'll check around here a little more. The mist is thick. Don't lose your way. Oh, I like thick mist, Mega. You, you rascal. <laughs> I think I think he'd like an abacus. He's a smart guy. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not trying to do win any favors here, but I mean, like, you might give us a present. Hello. Oh, you rascal. Exquisite. Exquisite. Extremely well crafted. Ooh, exquisite. What is yes. it? <laughs> yeah. Come with a boyish grin. Fire arrow. Thanks, buddy. A boyish grin, eh? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. 
Save the boyish grins for Kotaro. I like, I, I like <laughs> To be fair, I think this whole game is just a big dating simulator, and or you can take a back seat because I'm more interested in the boys anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Herbs. Fog Valley map. How helpful. I like the idea that this was just hanging around behind Jubei's like ancestral home the entire time, and he was like, nah, no, nah, I'm just not going to go there. He just never knew. He's like, I've never Ooh. been here before. Dragon Shrine. Hand in mouth. Yum. Let's have a look at it. What have we got? A longer a spear. Weapon. Oh. No, no, no. Naginata. It's a pretty sweet weapon. What's it called? I, I, I like those weapons too. They're fun. Senpu Maru. Yes. So Senpu, which is like, like you said, a spiral. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so there was that MacGuffin back there. To save time, I think we might as well just go and get it. So we can just break it and see what's behind it. And we don't have to backtrack. So let's see. Uh, we got Senpu Maru level two. Ooh! Oh! So yeah, this is very, it's a very quick and it's a little bit weaker than even the Ooh! sword, but the magic attack. What? That's sick. Yeah. It's a nice little AoE. So it's pretty much uh, exactly the same as the wind weapon from Onimusha 1. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the mixed particle it. effect. But uh, yeah, so at the moment, we're kind of like, we've got lightning weapons the same, wind weapons the same. Uh, there isn't a mainline fire weapon in this compared to Onimusha 1. Right. So the fourth, the fourth weapon that Jubei gets is the uh, the the most different, and it's quite it's quite um, distinct, even for like only motion stuff. But it's uh, yeah, it's pretty neat, and it's good for dealing with these like quick little boys here, where you can just smack them about, and it draws them in. The magic attack draws them in. Oh, that's awesome! I assume it doesn't do as much damage considering how many no. hits you get. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Still get good yeah, for like. Yeah. Good for like crowd control. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Especially when you've got like a load of ads. Oh, Nobunaga's knowledge. Um, okay, what's that? Uh, a statue of Nobunaga. Uh, oh, from Judy Dorma's collection. So Juju Dorma is the demon lady that killed uh, Jubei's mother with a evil handbag of death. That son of a bitch. I know she's terrifying, but she was. Uh, yeah, so. Um, so if you hadn't guessed, she's going to be the boss of this little section. <laughs> but, um, and then we, and that's it. Revenge completed. Sub revenge completed. Now main Sub revenge. revenge. Continue. Oh look, it's all you. Oh you. Again, best girl. This will trip. This will trip. <laughs> only girl, I think. Oh, only best girl. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Poor thing. But yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. So this. Uh. This is another thing that's triggered by. Oh, sorry, no. Uh so this is oh Jesus! Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh boy! Oh god! Oh, oh god! No! I <laughs> know she got the, she got a spear to the back of the head. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's do some long range pokey pokes. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know oh, he could do that. Oh my god! What the hell? Okay. He just tiger need you. <laughs> oh shit! Did you see that flash? You can yeah. parry their attacks. Oh. oh. Hey, are you okay? Take this if you wish. <gasps> right, that's nice of you. Give me an herb. I'm not Can okay. I'm all you. Can I give you a ha 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 Forgive me, my darling. I didn't intend to hurt you. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, she, oh, you looks like she's been hallucinating. <laughs> but she's back to normal soon. Oh, thanks for the bread. Okay. So we've drugged her for a second time. Oh, don't. Oh no. Now I feel extra bad. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> are you. you. Follow. Don't follow me. I'm just a danger. Um. <laughs> So what really? that is, is is like an item randomizer. You only start getting unique mushroom at kind of like this point of the game. Right. So what you do is you get it and it doesn't really affect anything. You just get funny, funny dialogue from people. And um, then you can just, yeah, see like that. I put half of what I put into the spear. And I'm oh, you got a lot in, in that one yeah, run yeah, alone. Yeah. 
So yeah, <coughs> yeah it's like an item randomizer, so you can maybe get some different stuff. Uh, or right. maybe it's an item pool. I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. So yeah, a little bit of research I've been doing is that the uh, so this game was actually made almost it's quite concurrent with the first game. So it's been in development. Um, the original game was in development from like '98, and uh, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what what happened was in the first game they wanted to do like well ninja or samurai Resident Evil, right? And right. Uh, it was about halfway complete by the time that they got news about the ps2 and they were like shit shit what are we going to do because the ps2 is coming out in 2001 this is scheduled to at least be completed by around mid 2000 do we just sack it off and work with the new technology mm -hmm. and that's what they did so a lot of similarities from the prototype of uh onimisha one ended up coming across to number two Ooh, there's Ooh. a little dude there Oh, oh no, boys. we don't get to play as Kotaro. Uh, oh, sad. Okay. Yeah, that's sad. Well, anyway. I thought... Well, that's actually a good chunk, so we got a bit of that done. I'll have to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back and do it again at another time. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so yeah. All right, so that's the that's the first part. Obviously, Kotaro is the first player's new players. Uh, that's not Jubei. And if that little weird sort of homunculus dragonfly thing isn't there, um, it means you're going to play as Katara. So let's just ignore these guys. Go the time beings, keep running through the forest. Because what happens is you get trapped in the forest and Katara has to come save you. So, again, uh, like... Um, uh, where are we? All oh, right, yeah, sorry. Blanked out for a second. Um, so like the first game, every time you play as a sub-character, it's pulling the main character's ass out of some kind of scrape. So... So yeah, so like the first, first game, the ninja lady you play as, every time you play as her, Shamanosuke is like, how did I get locked in this room? Why have I been stuck into a hole in the floor? And she's like, fuck's sake, Shamanosuke, just get your shit together. <laughs> Um, and pretty much, and that every time he plays a sub character, Jubei's been fucked over in one way or another. Right, right. <laughs> so, so yeah, so in this he's like, oh, I'm really lost in the forest. Uh, and then uh, yeah, could you play as Kataro and you do some running around in the same this same map, but a little bit remixed. And there's a bunch of points that you can only access as Kataro. So oh, those, okay. So there's, there's so different they, pathings and depending on who you have. Pretty much. I mean, sorry, the pathing is the same, but the accessibility is different. So oh, okay. for Kataro, he's the most accessible. So he's got he's got ninja abilities, so he can he's very mobile. So you can essentially skip the misty this misty forest bit and jump up around the area, uh, and then it, uh, enter it from behind. Ha 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 ha. So you see this boy? He's got a blue eye. That means he's a little bit stronger, and he's got a different uh, uh. attack. Oh, he's stronger beefly. Yeah, he's done a sweet kick again. And they've got they've got Whoa. a uh, yeah they've got a Hadouken as well. So they're they're a bit dangerous. But yeah, so yeah, uh, Kotaro is like that. But the thing about Kotaro is he's actually, at least to my knowledge, he's necessary for the S rank. Oh really? Hmm. He has he's the only character. Um, oh. It's been a long misty road, hasn't it? Uh, he's the only character who has the demon realm, which is like the optional dungeon. So mm -hmm. they're... Uh, oh, cutscene. Froggy? Yeah. Can't catch this that. This where big, the cat comes in. Escaping, Jubei. <laughs> Damn you. You are so cute when you're angry. <laughs> I shall have fun with you behind my lord's back. <laughs> 
Wait, Juju Dharma. He's mine. <laughs> Can't get enough of me, huh? I told you I'd be back. I'm immortal. <laughs> Less talk and more chop! Wait a second, Gingham Fats. This cute little man is mine to play with. No, I claim his life. All right, you go first. I know you'll lose again anyway. <laughs> How dare you, stupid woman. I'll win this time. <laughs> this will be our last battle. Prepare yourself. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! Fix it, fix it, fix it! Right, where were we? Oh yeah, that's it. Getting absolutely smashed into the ground by a huge blokey bloke. Yes. <laughs> by not Goro. <laughs> yeah, by not Goro, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I like Gingham Fats though. He's... He's cool because he's he's just he's endearing and he's just like, alright, I'm here, I'm keep getting beaten. Oh uh, got new new moves now. Take these leaves! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, a bit of a different uh, bit of a different boss environment, like a corridor thing and you're fighting a big guy. Oh god! Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, I don't uh, Ooh. Oh, oh god. Oh yeah, he doesn't mess around. Uh, so, because we've been getting time. so many healing items, yeah. Let's have a few herbs and save all of our other stuff. Uh, that's, yeah, for your towel. <laughs> so, with Whoa. bosses, they, re they release a lot of juice. Um, I'm not sure why. Ooh. Oh, Magoichi! He's got this! I did, did miss you, miss my me? friend. You're my best friend, Magoichi, and he just got yeah. pummeled into the dirt as well. <laughs> oh my god. I've come to rush you. Oh, shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back like a big hero. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, now we got it. Let me use my machine gun. He's blasting into the environment. Seriously. <laughs> Look at how far back he is. So, I think I just managed to hit him while he shouldn't have been able to be hit. Right, okay, so you can lock on him. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god! was <laughs> so close. That was right. very close. Alright, let's get that medicine sod it. Whoops. I don't care anymore! <laughs> You're right, buddy. How you doing? I just leave him to it. I like to imagine whenever he's running through the back, force back like that. He just goes, What? <laughs> Oh, wow, that does a lot of damage. Holy crap. See, I think, um, and I could be wrong. I am ready, Mega Thank you. Um, I think by upgrading, like, the arm armor, you increase your sort of soul absorption rate. Mm -hmm. So before, in, in the first game anyway, you just uh, got a certain threshold of souls, like I, I think it's like every 20,000 or 40,000, and um, you just automatically upgraded your, your soul gold, I think. But because we Oh, he got stuck in a tree! I still oh no! Um, <clears throat> because because in this one, obviously, you don't have the gauntlet, you just got his weird hand tattoo. I think by upgrading the armor gauntlets, you upgrade your kind of soul ability, I think, maybe? I don't know. Huh. So I think, and I think the leg armor increases your overall speed. Again, I could be completely wrong, but that's the way I've always thought about it. Do you uh, think there's like hidden stats with the, the armor? Oh, almost definitely, mate. There's, yeah. there's a lot of stuff about this game that's randomized, and through the cursory uh, sort of internet searching that I've been doing, to do with regards to the gift system is oh fuck oh, oh my god <laughs> what that's a pretty cool recovery though um yeah so with regards to the gift system oh she probably here. with regards to the gift system yeah a lot of it is randomized um in terms of what you get out of, 
Well, in terms of giving people certain items, so again, you know, what certain things are always going to get the results. So like the music box is always going to get Kataro's. Oh, the Kataro's kicky, kicky leg things. And certain things, the Rouge is going to get the uh, Magoichi's uh, pirate costume. But I think if you give someone like a, if you give someone like a weapon, I think after maybe the first two, it becomes randomised. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. There we are. Curse you. I'm sure I'll be back again. <laughs> he went poopy. <laughs> oh, cool! We got to we got to do that. <laughs> Double lock up figure. <laughs> Action figurine. See ya. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, uh, you go that way. I'll go home. <laughs> nice. So yeah, so that would happen. So Kotaro would do his little rescue mission, and then he'd turn up. And, oh, whoa! He's well. That was quick. <laughs> Okay. Not again. What is it this time? <laughs> I'm sorry about your mother. <laughs> okay. I can sympathize. Ah, uh, this is a fight of really? honor now. Don't trust him, Jubei. You don't know anything about him. Why is he really here? Kiss him. Kiss him good. Maybe you will try and kill us because you secretly serve Nobunaga. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> is that true? Something like that. Wait! Magoichi! <laughs> like, what was that? Okay! This Such a weird just... encounter. This raises further questions. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Okay, new type of enemy. Here we go. Fish people. Big fish people. Oh! Whoa! There we go. That's how I go fishing. Again, I just love the um, the water textures in this because it's just a really simple like, you know, he's just he's just dipping below the line of it, and all it is is just reflections, but it still looks amazing. Oh yeah, there's, there's uh, flash effects over pre-render. That's it. But the uh, the surface of the water is like a secondary layer or something. So you can see we can yeah. move through it. So they, there's probably like a, a big void of nothingness beneath it. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like it's... The... Yeah, but you got like that kind of, you see the reflection of the trees above it in it. It's just, mm -hmm. oh, God, it's lovely. I don't no think reflection seen... of Jim. Is he a vampire? Ye Ooh, yeah, I think he's a vampire. Well, maybe <laughs> because, he, because he's part Oni and they are not vampires, but ogres. Uh, maybe that's why. Ah. That's right. I'm making excuses for a 20-year-old game. That's yes. what we do. Definitely. That's what we do in this house. <laughs> Enhancement. All right. <laughs> We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah. Yo. Woo. It's just a bit bigger. <laughs> That's all right by me. So we can go in that area. We can have a look around here. Again, it's all nice and foresty, and I just. It's very nicely, um, very nicely designed. I just the like foliage. To... Yes, thank you. Foliage. <laughs> For foresty is the uh, uneducated word for foliage. <laughs> foresty also works. <laughs> See, this guy's a little bit green now, so I think he might be a bit stronger than you. He's frozen in the air. Okay. Um, <laughs> kind of look like rejected Ninja Turtles. Uh... <laughs> Wait, which guy? The the, 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 the big guy the, the stick. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, trying to poke these. these in. Oh, poke. Poke. oh, that was it. So, for a long time, I didn't realise that certain weapons and like the charge attacks just cut through these guys. Oh. But, I, so, but the the real bitch way out of it is just whoa. Is Kick them and they just fall over. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was my method until I was like, "What do you mean? One of the weapons is just an instant kill." <laughs> Let's see. Uh, ooh, some more juice. 
Three. Okay, so every night, every time I see this now, if I look at these weapons, I see burrito. Oh god! Ah <laughs> 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 uh, yes, the mighty burrito. Yeah, the burrito. No Benaga's dignity. Right, I think that's all three statues now. So we can just carry on. This has made this whole section significantly shorter than I remember, mm. but that's fine. It means we can keep pushing, keep pushing and fight. It helps that you remember. Ah. Ooh, I like this. So yeah, so in here, you have, that's a Kataro um, thing of a jig. And I mm -hmm. think in there you get like, uh, you get his like extra armor costume. Oh. Oh, which is, he's thirsty me? for more fighting. <laughs> Look at him. This guy can't be stopped. Oh. Again, these these river river people are quite quite quick. Yeah. Okay, just look at this. I know this is uh, in like an FMV layer over the pre-rendered, but it's still like I just think it looks amazing. Oh, it looks great. Like the things they had to do to to not cut corners, but to to make up for you know for well, even then, lack like, of memory. Yeah, definitely. So, one of the things about it is like, uh, ooh, what's that? Huh? It's a fish. Ugh. Give me a fish. My I fish. got a fish. I Get out, Magoichi. Magoichi, would you like a fish? <laughs> <laughs> I just pushed you He's out of the way for it. <laughs> He's our best friend. Would you like a fish? I probably should take this. Yes, you oh, should. Okay. <laughs> People he looks neither happy nor my sad. Best friend, friend. <laughs> Give me a wind bell when I'm very sad. Are you all right? Take this when you're injured. Medicine? Oh, hey, you you, I, gave you, I gave you a fish, man. So, yeah, so if you're Kataro, you'd be able to, like, jump up here. <clears throat> the ladder is broken. So, yeah. yeah, it's too dangerous to climb down. Come on, Magoichi, let's go questing. Come on, let me tell you about the. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Stuck in your head now, ain't it? Skipping along, just like yeah. <laughs> Don't need to deal with this. Okay. Huh? Oh, oh. Jubei. I found a gun. I destroy that. <laughs> with this. <laughs> but you have to watch my back while I get it ready. Okay. Okay. Found oh. it laying around. <laughs> This is intense music now. I thought it was part of the Caribbean music. <laughs> Load the cannon! Load the cannons! Man, the cannon! So, yeah, it's just a little. Uh, so, this is a Mega Witch thing you just do to have a little ad kind of mission. Mm. You know, well, I'm just stood in front of the thing he's trying to destroy. Beehive. Let's try beehive. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get something like that. It's like, come on, buddy, come on. Whoa, I don't think so. I don't think so. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, he said thank you. Oh, okay. Ooh, more juice. Almost there. Okay, thanks for letting me know, buddy. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's ready. Here we go. Not while I'm stood here. <laughs> Didn't even wait for you to move. <laughs> cool. Thanks, buddy. I blew up this rock. I blew up this rock. Power jewel. That's hey. pretty good. Worth it. And a magic jewel. Great. So passive Definitely upgrades worth. all around. What's up, pal? We did well. Thank you. You can take this. <gasps> Haha. Ah, now, see, the, now we've got the layer, so now that's level two of this bad boy. Whoa! So, this adds another interesting layer, so it's not randomized. I guess there's an algorithm that decides, once you've decided your best friend or whoever you've got the highest relationship with, the technique books are then going to be locked into your relationship levels with that person. Oh, them. Hmm? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, if you if you don't or I interact don't... with any other character like that, then yeah. I don't I don't interact any other way than I do with Magoichi. 
Um, okay, Birdie. <laughs> <laughs>